Can videos be made about you without your consent? Should you really tell your lawyer everything? All these questions and more on our first episode of What the Law, where we answer your real legal questions. Did someone say, we? Hello everyone, I'm Muppet Mike, a completely original and non-trademark infringing puppet paralegal. Let's get into the first question. Terry V from Instagram asks, how does a citizen's arrest work? The funny thing about that is they actually are designed not to work. That's not funny. I don't get it. What I mean is, in order to encourage that the law stay up to law enforcement, less protections are offered to private citizens who make arrests compared to police officers. It's not getting funnier the more you explain it. Can I do a citizen's arrest on you for that joke? Most states authorize private citizens to make arrests if they personally observe the crime. The person arrested has actually committed a felony, even if you didn't see it, or a felony was in fact committed and you have probable cause to believe that the arrested person committed it. So, if you got a citizen's arrest somebody, you better be right. Right? Exactly. Like I said, as long as they act on probable cause, police officers are usually not civilly liable for mistakenly arresting an innocent person. But private citizens are. Oh, oh, oh! Could I do a citizen's arrest on somebody if they wrongfully citizen's arrest me? No, but you can sue them. Wow. Next question. Mary I from Facebook asks, do lawyers charge for emails? Lawyers that charge by the hour might. You should clarify that with them before you hire them and find out everything they will charge you for. It can help in your decision. However, we are definitely charging you for that question. Don't listen to them. This is free. All you have to do is subscribe. Instagram user iHeartHalima asks, how do I get over a boy? Oh, oh, Mike, let me do this one. Go ahead, mop it, Mike. Self-love. Surround yourself with people who care about you. And listen to the new Taylor Swift album. I'm actually surprised. That was such sound advice. Brandon W from Instagram asks, can someone make a YouTube video about you without your consent? The short answer is yes. What's the long answer? Anybody can post whatever they want, but there are certain things they can't do or else. <gasps> you can sue! That's right. Yay! What can't they do? They can't defame you, meaning they can't give false statements about you that harm your reputation. They can't invade your privacy, and they can't use your likeness to promote a product without your consent. Oh, so I shouldn't have made this deep fake. Hi, I'm Law by Mike, and you should buy Moppet Mike brand anti-diarrhea medication. Yeah, that's a lawsuit. Oh, then I have some phone calls to make. Is constructive criticism a commentary okay? Of course, as long as it falls under fair use, and YouTube has always been great when it comes to fair use claims. Yeah, just ask Ethan Klein. Next question, what if you did something very bad? Should you tell your lawyer everything? How much does lawyer-client privilege actually protect? I bet the guy that asked that doesn't want people to know he asked that. Yes, you should tell your lawyer everything. Everything? Everything. Even? Yes, we need to know everything in order to give you the best legal advice, and we can't repeat anything you tell us in private related to your case, but there's some major exceptions. Lawyers love exceptions. You can tell your lawyer about crimes you've already committed, but you can't plan ongoing or future crimes with your lawyer. You only get post-crime advice, not pre-crime advice. But shouldn't you give your lawyer a heads up if you plan on committing a crime? Not if you want it to stay a secret. It's not protected by attorney-client privilege. Your attorney also can't be held to attorney-client privilege if they believe that keeping your confidence would result in death or significant physical harm to someone. But you can tell me if you plan on hurting someone. I love gossip. The other day I was telling my lawyer- No, that privilege also goes both ways. Don't talk to anyone else about what you talk about with your lawyer or it breaks the privilege. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Let's just move on to the next question. Well, I have no proof my neighbor is messing with my vehicle. What kind of punishment would he get for causing an accident by loosening my lug nuts? Uh, they must be referring to this very safe TikTok challenge. It's called the lug nut challenge, and it involves loosening or removing lugs from car tires in hopes of gaining likes online. I love TikTok. I do whatever the algorithm tells me. People on TikTok were loosening people's lug nuts, hoping to catch the moment where they almost kill their friend on camera. Boys being boys. If you have proof of this, it's a very serious offense. Attempted murder serious. At the very least, the perpetrator would likely be charged with destruction of property, and if anyone is hurt, they could be looking at assault and battery charges. Or funeral expenses. Question. Do police have to read your Miranda rights before taking you into custody because I sat in jail 18 hours till it was read to me, then made bond? Ah, so this is a very common misconception. Your case actually isn't automatically dismissed if you aren't read your Miranda rights. What? You mean Law & Order SVU was wrong? 
Why, Morris Kagate? Why? Not completely wrong. It wouldn't get your case dismissed, but the anything you say can and will be used against you gets a little trickier. Basically, any answer you give the police if asked when arrested or even formally interrogated usually can't be used as evidence in court. Oh, but if there's plenty of other evidence that you committed a crime, they wouldn't necessarily need to use that to find you guilty. Exactly, Moppet Mike. Wow, I think you actually learned something today. I did, and I think you did too. What did I learn? Not to drive home without your lug nuts. Oh, Moppet Mike. Ha <laughs> ha!